I'm currently in Deadwood, South Dakota, and today is the day that I'm going to spread my parents' ashes. They wanted to be spread over the Black Hills and at the suggestion of Eric Bischoff, who is here with me, along with his wonderful wife, Lori, this is where we decided upon. So we're gonna go scout some locations and find some places to spread their ashes. So my dad died in 05, my mom died in 07. I actually didn't get her ashes till 2016 due to some family disputes, but it's still been a really long time. And part of that is because I never felt like the moment was right. And part of that is because I have a really, really hard time with change and with letting go. And I've had to continuously remind myself that this isn't about me. This is about them and how I can honor them and how I can almost right this wrong so that I can let them be free and let them be together because this is what they wanted. So this is my journey of letting my parents be free and letting their energy back out into the world where it deserves to be together. Why Deadwood, South Dakota? It's a simple story, really. You know, I was in speaking with Amanda a couple months ago. She mentioned that uh, her parents had always hoped to have their ashes spread in the Black Hills. You know, Black, Black Hills is a big area, right? So uh, I certainly understood it. I've been through the Black Hills many, many times on the you know, Sturgis motorcycle rally and with friends and, and family, and I've driven all through those canyons. So I, I had a real good idea um, where we would be looking for that ideal spot and was confident we'd get there. But I also liked Deadwood specifically um, because there's so much rich history there. You know, while Bill Hickok, famous Aces and Eights, took one to the back of the head playing poker, you know, right there, saloon number 10, we were there. So was Earl, by the way, that's another story. <laughs> I'll let Amanda tell that one. But uh, decided it would be a fun place because of the history, the natural beauty, and of course, just the fact that it was Amanda's parents' wish. So we made the trip. It was a wonderful trip. On the way back, we uh, stopped at the Custer Battlefield in Memorial, which I had never been there before. I had always wanted to go, and I'm embarrassed because it's just not that far away from here. But life gets in the way and has prevented me. But that was a big part of the trip. But the time that we spent in Deadwood taking care of business, so to speak, and um, visiting, oh, one of the old brothels that is still there for touring. <laughs> it's not a business, but we, we had to stop in there, and we stopped in the saloon number 10 where, while Bill Hickok took one to the back of the head, and well, we had a little business to take care of there, and we're a little bit more business throughout the city of Deadwood, so... Uh, that's the story on Deadwood. I'm, I'm really glad it, it worked out. We found a beautiful spot with just an amazing view and had what I think would be, a, it, it, was a, it was a great ceremony. I don't recall my parents specifying why they chose the Black Hills and I've never been to South Dakota, so I really didn't get it until we got here. My dad, Earl, was a cowboy through and through, though he also held a lot of Native American beliefs. He was a history buff with a soft spot for the outlaws. I remember going on trips as a kid and learning about Jesse James and the Dalton brothers. And I remember the stories of figures like Wild Bill Hickok and Crazy Horse. I knew about the battle at Little Bighorn and the Trail of Tears and things like that from a young age. My mom, Donna, loved to learn and have new experiences. She loved reading and she loved driving. Both were like therapy for her. She loved open spaces and traveling and could marvel for hours over scenery if she was drawn to it. She could be in a car for days and never get bored or uncomfortable because she was mesmerized and curious about everything. Growing up, it was just me and my parents and they loved small town living and being far away from everyone and everything, now you know where I get it, connecting with the peace of nature. When Eric described Deadwood to me, I just knew it was perfect. Once we got here, I immediately knew that we made the right decision. While we wanted to choose one special spot for the majority of the ashes, we may or may not have left a bit of my parents throughout the town and at the battle at Little Bighorn site. To be honest, I expected to agonize and scrutinize and go to a hundred places five times each and still feel ambivalence about choosing the perfect place, but we really didn't drive around all that much. 
I think my dad must have been guiding Eric because Eric's instincts were spot on. I wanted a place with a view for them where their ashes could be carried up when the winds come and down when the rains come and they could have a place to rest together because they were always happiest together regardless of circumstances or finances or any of those arbitrary things and I wanted them to forever be able to wander and explore or simply watch the world go by just like they always did. I think this is the perfect place. I think they'd love it here. I think they'd love the view. And it feels right for this to be where they're freed, where they get to rest. Two, three. Dad was a big guy. He was a very big guy. Six foot two. Well, now they're together. Again. You alright? Lori had asked me if I wanted to say something beforehand, and I know that's what the cinematic thing to do would have been, but I'd said everything I needed to say, and I just wanted to let them be free. The last song we heard before spreading the ashes was Knockin' on Heaven's Door by Guns N' Roses as we were leaving the restaurant where we ate lunch, and I knew they were just ready. After the ceremony, I released a bit of them in a creek here near my hotel. Right after the ceremony, Eric stumbled upon some old school slot machines and decided to put $20 in. The first machine didn't work, so he moved to the one next to him and pulled a few times. Nothing. I said, come on, Dad, show us some magic. And the next pull, I kid you not, was a $375 win. So my dad got to buy a drink for Eric Bischoff, which I know would have meant the world to him. And my mom got to rub it in my face that I need to listen to the signs of the universe. The next morning, I went to reflect. I wrote down some memories of my parents and some insights about the trip. I thought the whole experience, honestly, was going to have me a blubbering mess, but I came to terms with my parents' passing years ago. And even though it still hurts, this experience was adventurous and cathartic and grounding and magical. They got to go out with a bang, and now they're free to roam together forever, and I couldn't be more grateful and at peace. Mm -hmm.